Hey guys, come back at you with another video. This is a redo of a video that I made today, and uh, yeah, it just didn't look that well the way I did it. I'm just going to have to deal with what I've been doing. So uh, yeah, I got two new masks for you today. Uh, they're not that easy to come by if you don't have a lot of money, including myself. Um, <clears throat> I got them both for $37 at a local pawn shop. Um, they are my favorite mask. Uh, along with the U.S. series of gas masks. No, it is not an M5 or an M1 or whatever, World War II. I did not get one of those because I cannot afford one. So, yeah. Uh, what I got is in the paper sack. I have two. Um, and if you read the title, you would already know. But, um... And if you can recognize the Havasack just by looking at it, you would know that I got a U.S. M40 gas mask. Now, these masks were produced from the early 90s up until about 2005. Uh, they are still used today, but they are used for gas chamber training and not, like, combat or anything. Uh, there's a 3M copy of this mask. Um, the 3M copy is called an FRM40, and it looks exactly the same, but the way to tell is the markings. Now, even the M40, FRM40 has U.S. and size. I can fit a small somehow. Um, right here, if it picks up, and it won't. It says ILD, which that's ILD Dover. They were in partnership with MSA to build the M40 masks. Uh, they also built some of the XM40 series. ILD Dover did. Um, so mine says ILD Dover, and on the bottom, on the XL valve, it says MSA. So that's more proof that I got an actual one. And also that on an FRM-40, on the straps, there'll be writing that says, this is not U.S. government property. And mine doesn't have that. So yeah, I got a real one here. And both real. One of them's an M40A1, and I'll get into details about that in a couple of minutes. Here's your XL valve, as I just showed. Here's your voice diaphragm. Inhale valve and your secondary voice emitter which comes off with a D-ring hooked to the a hook to the mask. Um I do have outserts on here. If you want to see the mask without the outserts, you're going to have to go to an up a uh, collection update video I might be making today. I don't know, I might wait for one more mask to come in after Christmas. And I will have this mask without the outserts on it. I just think it looks better with the outserts. Okay. Let's get into the inside of the mask. It's nothing too special. Um, and the nail cups actually they have like really thin rubber. Like it's not heavyweight rubber or anything, it's just like really thin. Really easy to push and stuff. Here's your drinking tube. Uh let see if I can get this on camera. Right here is the secondary voice diaphragm. Over here, if it'll pick up, that's your inhale valve. Whatever. I'm going to put the mask on, and I'm probably going to put it on with my glasses. Because I don't want to take my glasses off because my eyes burn. Uh, and yeah, I am I am wearing my U.S. Army jacket, um, fatigues, because, come on, it's an M40, I mean, why not? Decided I'd make that a little bit special for you guys. So, the way you've done it, is you bring this over the front, you lift this up a little bit, and there's a little pull tab right here. Now, make sure these are out of the way. Put on your face like this. Pull it over your head.
Okay. Oh yeah, my glasses are on. Somehow, my glasses are on. Um, and it seals. Um. Well, not exactly. This one's kind of old. It's from 1994, so the mask is a little bit expired. Um. So yeah, secondary secondary voice diaphragm. Inhale valve. Exo valve. I did get a C2A1 filter, which is a mask. Now, if you can hear me, don't go on with the freaking warning comments about how the C2A1 has chromium in it. It does not have chromium in it. That's the C2. The C2A1, they got rid of the chromium because they figured out it wasn't good for you. So yeah, a little bit heavier with the filter on, but I like the side loading filters a lot better than the uh, computer flyer. Uh, yeah, I like the side loaded filters a little bit better than the uh, bottom loaded filters down here because, I mean, come on, side loaded filters are good for shooters because you can switch them out. They're good for um, crawling. And, I, mean, I don't know, if you had a filter hanging from your chin, it's just not that easy to call. Plus, you get crap up in your filter and stuff. Which, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but yeah, you would. So, yeah, there's the mask. And, uh, I just love the way they look. They just look awesome. Now, on to the M40A1 gas mask. The M40A1, underneath this black skin, second skin here, is the same thing as this. If I took the second skin off, it would look exactly like this. But, the difference between an M40 and an M40A1 is the M40 was an M40 designated with a second skin and a different chemical hood. Thanks to Fiber JP, I know that. Thank you. I wouldn't have known that without your M40 video. But yeah. Um, I do have some tinted outserts on it. Um, and trust me, the hood is not easy to put on. But the outserts are. They're pretty easy. I can get them on, both of them on, in like a minute, which is better than the hood. It takes me like five minutes to get on. But yeah, it basically looks the same on the inside, except it's got this hood around it, which is weird. Looks weird. Um, I'll probably put it on with the with my glasses on once again. Uh. Yeah, this one is also not an FRM40 copy because it has all the same mar mar uh, markings. Isled over, MSA, same thing. Oh, oh, I was just about doing that incorrectly. And then after this, uh, before I wrap the video up, um, I got a little stuff to show you guys. My viewers. Sorry, I can't don the mask very quick. If you loosen these straps too far, they get stuck, and it's just not good. I'm gonna have a filter. 
Put your that up. So yeah. And I can't position it right. Come on. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to put the filter on and this is kind of frustrating. So yeah. I'm sure I can get it on somehow. There's something in the way. But whatever guys. Anyway, this mask like I said, was produced from the early 90s to 2005, and so they use the basic training today, except they don't use the chemical hoods in training, trust me, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you can see videos all over the internet now of gas chamber training, they'll make them do jumping jacks and stuff in these masks, and then they'll make them take their masks off and say their uh, name and stuff. So yeah, the mask feels really comfy. It's just really heavy whenever you have it on your face with the filter. It's really heavy. So yeah. I'm going to take the mask off, and my glasses will get caught, so hold on. My glasses. Yeah. No difference between the two, except the m 48 one was designated with a hood, so... The M40 and the M40 I won. Yeah, it's so cool. Uh, I did get with the bat with the mask. I don't even report it that. I got a haversack with it. it popped out of nowhere. Uh, I got a haversack. It says US M40 Pro um mask M40 series on Velcro. There's the inside of the haversack. Got a lot of space in there. There's these little pouches right here where I found something cool. There's three pouches. I found something really neat that I didn't know I was pretty good. I got some tinted outserts. Extras. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. And then I and then I came across this. What's this? A little buckle. It is a M40 series protective mask PMCS checklist. But that was really cool. I didn't even know that these masks had checklists. I just thought you were trained how to use them and stuff. So yeah, it's laminated cards. Looks like a slide, whatever, but it tells you, you know, don't fold the mask. Do maintenance and stuff. Make sure these items are sealed properly. And then I got this, which is really cool. The waterproof bag, the M1 waterproof bag. I got that too. So yeah, all together I got that for $37 for both of them at a local pawn shop. Um, pretty cool for me. I'm, I'm not complaining at all. I'm just so happy that I found those both for that deal. Um, like I said, if you want to see the mask off, I'm probably going to do an inf uh, a collection update right after this. Um, and you can see the mask with the outserts off, the M40 with the outserts off. So, yeah. You ready for that? Um, leave comments for future videos if you request anything. If you'd like me to mention your name after your request is made, I will. If you want to stay anonymous, I won't say your name in the video. Uh, we'll have that Q's and A's coming up right after my collection update today, because I want to get that out of the way. Um, so, yeah. Peace out, guys. Um, acknowledgements to Firebird JP. That's where I got most of this information from, all the information on the M4A1. I wouldn't know that without your video, man, so thanks. Um, peace out, guys. Uh, bye.